my channel. My name is Jenna, or you can call me Jay, and wherever you guys are, I hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and leave this video a like and a subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, all right? In today's video, we're gonna talk about one of my other four dramatic experiences that I've ever had when collecting Pokemon TCG cards and why I stopped. I know, I know, I know. I am way, way overdue with this video because I did my first video like, God knows, like, I don't know, maybe two years ago. And I'm just, you know, thinking about finishing up the series. And I do want to finish it up because I kind of held like a, a huge cliffhanger at the end or kind of a cliffhanger because there's three other situations that got me to not play Pokemon TCG cards again or collecting in general again. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that because honestly, the more you know, right? So the first one was the Rockets Mewtwo, and we have a similar situation with the Blaine's Arcanine. Now the Blaine's Arcanine was one of the best fire types out there for the trainer cards, or sorry, the trainer type Pokemon cards, and honestly, it even beat Blaine's Charizard. Now I didn't actually pull it, but I did purchase the pack that Blaine's Arcanine was in. So I'll tell you how it happened. Whenever it comes to lunchtime, me and my buddies would always go out and buy food at this local plaza. And sometimes, I know it's bad, but sometimes I used the lunch money that I got from my parents and I just went and bought Pokemon cards. Back then, Pokemon cards used to be like, two dollars and I think 30 cents or 50 cents it was really affordable obviously back then I only had like two dollars for lunch but yeah like I used it all on Pokemon cards and I starved and I went home and I ate like a, like a beast <laughs> basically I was in a situation where I happened to have like about five dollars there's like two toonies and a loonie or something and yeah like back then when you had money it was a big thing when you were a kid and I think I was in grade six so I had five dollars and my buddy he was like a good friend of mine well i guess he was a good friend back then we would always collect pokemon cards together we would always go to that plaza and purchase some and not buy our lunch but yeah like we actually went and i found out he told me that he wasn't able to purchase anything good old me was thinking like you know what i had extra money maybe i'll purchase one for him you know just out of the blue i thought i can do something nice obviously when i'm a kid i think it's nice but then i get jealous afterwards we went into the store we got two packs i gave him one i got one the one that i got i was able to pull a blaine's or i think it was a brock's nine tails which is pretty cool but the thing is i already got that and i know my buddy didn't because we always compare what we have but my buddy pulled blaine's rk9 and he screamed it out loud and when he screamed it out loud, I knew he was probably not going to give it to me. He was not going to give it to me. He started hyping up, he started walking, jogging around, saying that he pulled this without even thinking that I'm the one that purchased it for him. Now, obviously, if you think about it, it's my fault for giving him that card or giving him that pack or purchasing that pack. But there has to be some form of like, you know, cognizant behavior because I did purchase that pack for him. At least he can do is thank me for purchasing it. But that was out of the window. He was just too excited and he got that card and I was just sitting there standing and I think my other buddies that were there watching us They were probably realizing like whoa, that's crazy. That sucks. You know, that sucks so much But it is what it is, you know, like at the end of the day he got it. I didn't I almost had a Blaine's Arcanine in my position I'm gonna be honest even if I did have it I wouldn't have taken care of it because back then <laughs> Back then I would actually put the cards in my pocket without any protective sleeves or uh, top holders so it would have been been destroyed but at least I would have had it right I could have said I had it but all I can say is that I purchased the pack that ended up being in there anyways it is what it is and yeah like I don't know what happened to that card he probably maybe kept it or damaged it I really doubt that he kept it in a condition because we were all the same we were playing our Pokemon cards in our pockets <laughs> getting it all greased up and unfortunately but um yeah and I learned my lesson but at the same time at the end of the day you just gotta keep thinking positive you gotta keep thinking good things because good things are gonna happen to you whenever you see someone that needs help help them out maybe buy them a pack if they get a good card you know what that's amazing for you that's good for you obviously i trust the universe to help me out to give me back some good karma and i let it be you know like sometimes you just have to work on your mental health mindset if someone is in a situation where they're 
in an amazing situation to pull an amazing cord. You don't want to wish ill on them because at the end of the day, they did nothing to you. Just wish them well and then hope the best that you'll get something in return, all right? So that is one of my dramatic experiences that I've experienced. That was the second one. There are two more. And honestly, like, yeah, I think that last one, it wasn't a big deal, the last one, but that kind of drove me to not play Pokemon TCG. But there is one before that. So we'll say that in the next video, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video as hilarious as it might be for you. And as always, guys, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and give this video a subscribe and a like, because anytime I post a video, I try to post a new Pokemon TCG content, do a new Pokemon TCG product review, just so you guys can see whether or not you want to purchase it, right? And as always, guys, wherever you are, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See ya. Thank you.